Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and as I get to the studio this morning, I see that we've got a crossword uh, posted in the official Discord server. So uh, before I look up the answers or anything, I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and try to solve these live. Uh, I've played raids since the very beginning, uh, basically every day for years at this point. So hopefully I can do okay on solving this, but if I can't, I'll look up the answers, and then we'll see if we can get the promo code plugged in. We've also got a new recap video that I haven't watched yet, so we'll check that out, see what that's all about, and we'll get you full context for what is going on in Raid as we head into the weekend and into next week. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first things, there is a recap video that you see under news uh, where it says personalized recap video. So I haven't watched it yet. There's still the red dot on mine. I hope this is some sort of thing where it gives you some cool stats. Uh, the last time they did something like this, it showed you like how many dungeon runs you did and, and, and some cool things to know. So I'm excited to see if, uh, if that is going to be the case on the recap video. You can see behind me if I move the camera right over there we've got watch your recap video with the red dot haven't clicked on this yet i have no idea what this is going to be so let's uh let's check it out uh okay so it pops up a window here created a personalized video share your rewards to get instant rewards okay let me make myself smaller move this over and let's uh let's see what this is all about much has come to pass since your arrival gaze into the shard and see what mark you have left upon our world Teleria has seen new challenges and new champions. But this is your legacy. Your forces have grown strong. You used these champions the most. You won glory in the dungeons. and have claimed great riches. You have challenged all comers. And earned great renown. You made your name in the arena. This was your strongest arena defense. Hey, that's fake news. I've been in platinum before. You I just never finished for the honor platinum. in faction wars. You are an asset to your clan. I need to finish more clan quests. That should be like a hundred. You ascended the Doom Tower. You have achieved much, but your legend has just begun. Where shall it take you next? Yeah, that's super cool. I, I love when they when they do stuff like this. Uh, it's they, they gave us some of those uh, some of those stats and stuff. So yeah, that is that that's awesome. I love the music too. They did a really good job on that. So uh, I wish it would I wish it would kind of give you a an, an after screen where it showed all the numbers that it laid out uh, during the video. Uh, but they probably want you to like share it and watch it again and stuff. But uh, yeah, anyway, I, I I love the third year anniversary personalized video. That's super cool. But okay, now let's fire up this uh, this crossword and see if we can't figure out these questions, and then we'll uh, we'll look at the answers to the ones that we can't get to. So number one is gonna be a three uh, letter answer here. Uh, whatever you do, you can't fight Demon Lord without it. So Demon Lord is gonna be kind of the classic clan boss. Um, accessories, gear, five champions. Um, you don't need energy. Key, key. It's got to be key. For clan boss key to uh to go in there okay good start there that one's uh that one's easy that's got to be the right answer i would think uh typically you inflict this on your enemy oof um damage it's got to be like damage you inflict damage on your enemy y a okay uh, three, the name of this Onimus boss can be slain only with fire, only with fire. Um, Spider 25, you use HP burn a lot. Um, 
I think there's also a Doom Tower boss that you have to place HP burn on uh, to, to, to be able to block its revive. Um, I, I think that's the the spider, the uh, the frost spider. I don't know the name of the frost spider. Let me look that up real quick. Okay, the frost spider is so wrath, so I think that's going to be the answer here. Uh, if I had to guess, and it seems to fit. Y A A though, that's a little bit weird. Um, okay, four. Your champions should be placed on the lead spot to activate the special trait. Oh, it's Aura. Yeah, definitely Aura. You are placing the leader and not all champions have it. That that one I know is right. Maybe I should put ones that I have a lot of confidence in. Like this one, this one, and this one. Uh, number two, I'm a little bit questioning. And, and it looks like I could be wrong because this isn't really making a word. Five, champions with this set heal 30%. That's life steal. There's also the bloodthirst one, right? But bloodthirst is going to be too long. I would think that this is life steal. Um, okay, let's write that in. And I feel pretty good about that one. Let's back that up and write that a little bit better. Um, boom. Okay, life steal. Yeah, that's got to be right. I feel good about that one. Life steal. Uh, number six, you need this resource uh, to fight campaign and dungeons. So not keys. Uh, it's going to be energy for sure. That one I know is right. Energy, energy. Okay, so Yarzer. Okay, that's a little bit weird. I have this number two one might be throwing me off. I I kind of went with my first inkling on that. Um, a common champion with the ambition of a legendary one. I have no idea. Would that be like Warboy or something? Um, now, funnily enough, there isn't a lot of common champions. You can look them up pretty easily. Common champions. There's only four. It's got to fit. Oh, it's a long name. Swordsman. S-W-O-R-D-S. -S no, Swordsman doesn't fit. It's a long word for a common champion. Uh, there is no common high elf, sacred order, uh, sister militant. Sister, no. Uh, no, none of those will fit. Okay. Thankfully, it's a weirdly... Um, yeah, bully won't fit. Okay. Um, that's a kind of a weird one. I don't know that one off the top of my head. There's no commons there. I could probably figure it out pretty quick, though. Troglodyte. Troglo. No, it doesn't fit, I don't think. Um, Skinwalkers. Orcs. Warboy is one I was thinking of, but no uh demon spawn nope there's no commons undead oh we got some that might fit here death knight death knight d-e-a-t-h-n oh i think that one fits okay i think that one fits we're gonna write that one down for now uh luckily there's not a uh there's not a whole lot of commons we can kind of fill that in here so let's write that in hopefully that's right Otherwise, we'll have to go back to the drawing board. It's kind of the first one I saw that fits in here. And it does fit. And it's got an A, which is a common letter. Uh, ars, ars, ra, yars, ra. Okay. Yars, ra. Okay. Um, the lands of the elven realms. Um, Teleria. So, number eight. Um, I have no idea. Teleria doesn't fit. Um, I'm not as well versed in the lore as I should be. Um, I don't know that one. Lands of the Elven Realms. I don't even know how to look that one up either. Um, okay, so we'll have to mark that one uh, as, a, as a question mark. And this one I feel pretty good about. Um, number nine, the name of the alliance that brings together the most horrendous creatures. Uh, so you've got like the Telerians and, and the different factions. Let me look that up just to make sure I get this right in the index. You got Telerians, Galleon Pact, uh, Nyresian, um, the Corrupted is what I would guess. Most horrendous. So you've got like demons and, and undead. Uh, it says most horrendous Corrupted Alliance. So, and that's number nine. Does that fit? It doesn't look like it fits. Uh... Hey, am I missing? Oh, I'm. Oh, I, I cropped it in too weird. Okay, that's why I was confused. Let me get that fixed here. Let's crop this in. Pro there we go. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. I was like, wait, that doesn't fit. Okay, 
corrupted. Let's, I think that fits. Corrupted. Okay. Um. Now, yars, yars. So this might be an I raid. Uh, Teleria doesn't. I have no idea what this is. Number eight. Um. Yars. Is this supposed to be an E? Years raid. Years. Years raid. Um. Uh, number two. Place on your and inflict this on your enemy. See, I thought that was damage. Um, inflict this on your enemy. So, freeze. Freeze. Um, maybe one of the debuffs. Freeze. Freeze does fit, but Y R isn't gonna work. Gosh, it's got to be one of the de uh, debuffs, like fear, freeze, stun, sleep, sleep, sl no, um, yeah, I don't know, so I'm gonna have to look up, I'm gonna have to look up at number two, and number eight, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so shout out to my good friend, uh, Senti, I actually saw, uh, he had posted, uh, the results to this, and it is debuff, okay. So that makes sense. I just wasn't, uh, I was thinking like a specific debuff instead of debuffs universally is kind of where my brain was, uh, was mixing up. So, okay. And then this was Aravia. I still don't know what that means. Um, but I, we're, we're going to go with it. Uh, I don't, I, I haven't seen that in the lore. Uh, I'm not familiar with that word, but, uh, Aravia is going to be the land, uh, of the elves, I guess. And then, uh, debuff I would have gotten eventually. I think if I just needed to think at a more macro level instead of a specific debuff. So we've got years raid as the answer that we've come up. So now let's try to plug that in, uh, as a promo code. So here is our promo code screen. Let's put in years raid and confirm invalid. Invalid. Um, invalid. We've got okay. Uh, that is the answer to the puzzle. Definitely, it was years raid. Okay, let me look this up real quick. Okay, so it looks like people are saying three years raid works. Okay, I don't know why they did that like that, but uh, it did work. Uh, <laughs> why? Why would the answer not be what is in the yellow boxes? Why was it not years raid? I mean, why would you assume the three is part of it when the three is part of like the artwork? Um, anyway, uh, you know, both should have worked at the very, at the very worst. Cause that was the answer to the boxes. So anyway, three years raid is going to be the promo code to put in to, uh, to get some of the, the rewards looks pretty decent. It was like a, uh, does it show me here? Yeah. So we get, uh, we pop this down we got, uh, for, so the things that are six days are what we got. Uh, some multi-battles, some brews, a legendary books, some silver and some energy. Okay, so uh, not bad. Okay, and we also finally got the uh, the official update 5.40 highlights post on the site. So we'll quickly go over this and get you some context and, and read through this. Uh, April in full blossom, work on Rage Shadow Legends in full swing. Update 4.0 is on the way. By the way, I already did cover this. Uh, we got some, some teasers behind the scenes in our content creator chat. So I already did a video on this, but we'll quickly uh, go through and see if there's anything new to cover. Uh, I mentioned before, Raid's anniversary had to be postponed, but now we can confirm that it will begin on April 14th, last for a month. Expect uh, special events like the uh like the cross we just did raid recap we already watched that another major feature uh the forge pass is going to be kind of a spin on the battle pass uh we'll explain uh talk about the new artifacts that it will introduce yeah it's going to be part of the forge there okay uh forge pass um this looks like what we covered yesterday uh yeah, so I already covered all this. Doesn't look like anything new. It's going to be uh, basically four weeks. You're going to be acquiring points on a daily basis and uh, both a weekly basis. Uh, different challenges that you have to complete. Uh, they come in fours. Uh, need to be completed before 9 a.m. UTC. Uh, and then it'll, it'll kind of have like a daily reset kind of mechanic. Uh, there will be a core and a gold pass. Uh, and it will introduce the new artifact set uh, called Insight. Uh, that's going to be both speed and enemy defense ignore. So uh, going to be a pretty solid set. I expect it to rank uh, overall in the grand scheme of raids somewhere between like that 8 and 12 range in terms of best sets in the game there's about 40 to 44 sets something like that there's a lot more sets than you think there is uh but and it'll probably rank in the top 20 ish percent top 20 25 percent in that like 8 to 12 range uh pretty generally useful set for any damage dealer but okay, then they go on to, uh, I actually never talked about this officially in a video. Uh, this is super underwhelming. Uh, if we're going to get balance changes once every four or five months, um, like there's, there's like 700 champions in raid. 
Uh, let's adjust more than three of them. There's out of those 700 champions, there's probably like you know 180 that are worthy of uh, of getting at least a little bit of love uh, to to make them a little bit more relevant. Uh, obviously, you're always gonna have the strongest champions in the game, but uh, we, we could shorten the gap a little bit. So this is definitely underwhelming. But anyway, uh, we got Ethos. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he was ever placing the small version of Weaken. Um, but anyway, that needed to be adjusted. He's a Void Legendary. He should place the big debuff. So uh, that's a good change, definitely for that. But it's not gonna really change a whole lot about like the meta. Or anything um we're not you know like i don't think any of these are like a a Moshelet or a draco morph uh caliber buff but we've got all enemies 80 percent chance uh for two turns uh, so it looks like just a multiplier increase on an eth way i'm all for that he's a void uh damage dealer uh who wasn't hitting as hard uh as he probably should be the only unfortunate thing is we don't know if that's five percent twenty percent thirty percent what kind of increase that is, but uh, I think that's a that's a good change. And then Shiramani was uh, was getting uh, some changes here. She's going to be a little bit more consistent, and her cooldowns are more in line with what they should be. Um, I think she, I mean sh she'll be a solid champion. I don't think it's going to like see her catapult into a meta anywhere though. Um, she'll just go from being kind of underwhelming to being uh, like a, like a decent option in some scenarios. And while we're here, we can get you uh, caught up on the game stuff really quickly. Uh, hopefully, you did well on your CVC and things, uh, and things went according to plan. You're able to scoop up some uh, some accessories here. That means your next CVC will be starting in about 11 or 12 days from now. Uh, we're gonna have an off week next week when the fragment events launch, and then the week after that, you will get your next CVC, kind of closer towards the end of April. And let's uh, let's go over the thought process live and see if any of these uh, CVC accessories ended up being worth it. So we've got a reaction for Barbarians. Um, it's an attack with uh, with no HP percent, which is a little bit rough. Um, it, it could like double or triple roll on attack and be decent uh, for any sort of a damage dealer in a, in a PvP context. There's not massive nukers really uh, in the Barbarian faction. Uh, you'd want something for like Trunda, Foley, Candrafon, something like that. Um, defense ring with triple percentage. That's good. Uh, I do like that. That'd be really good for like a, like a Sill or any sort of defensive uh, Barbarian you're wanting to use. And then we've got this one, Attack Ammo. That's a fat rip. That's by far the least desirable ammo in the game uh so really really bad luck on that one um and then a defense that's good uh it has attack uh you, like if the resistance would have been attack that'd be a great find uh still could roll pretty well though and be a decent option um for undead reaction uh it's defense if it was like crit damage or something it'd be great for rotos or something but um all in all eh. and then we've got another uh orc so defense it's got accuracy and resistance um eh. You know, whatever. Uh, it's reaction. We'll take it. Uh, that's not part of CVC. This is good. This is this is a really good one. This is like a this is like a nine out of ten. Six star accuracy with speed, uh, HP percent, defense percent. Uh, yeah, I like that one a lot. Um, and then an attack banner. It does have speed at least, but no attack percentage or anything. So, eh. Okay, so yeah, uh, not great, but uh, but not the worst it could have been. So at least we got something worth rolling. Okay, and here is the three-year anniversary events. So hopefully these are a little bit spruced up when they go live, and we'll see if uh, if we can get some better rewards coming through on these tournaments. I can't see them yet, but uh, we do have the champion chase. That's going to be kind of a pseudo countdown. The clock that you see here in game uh, is going to indicate when the two X voids launch for this weekend is what is, what is going to be going on for summoning events. And then under the uh, the events tab, uh, important to take note of the fusion warm up. You're going to want to make sure you get these points. Every Every day and the way that you do so is going to be by pulling shards so uh the way it is going to work is you've got a maximum of 500 points you can get per day uh and you'll get wait a minute so usually these are a lot easier to achieve wait a minute the fusion warm-up is always way easier than this you have to pull 500 mystery shards to is this right i've never seen them make a fusion warm-up event this tough it's usually kind of like a like a free daily login reward it's usually like you pull 20 mysteries or something wait a minute so this is interesting 2500 points you'd have to pull five sacreds you'd basically have to pull a sacred a day to get the warm-up event they've never done that before i don't think or one ancient a day or no you'd have to pull you'd have to pull like 20 ancients a day Maybe they did this because of 2x voids going on. Today you've earned... 
I guess you skip the fusion warm-up event. That's super weird. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't think they've ever done a fusion warm-up warm -up event like this, where it's like sacred shards and uh, and 500 mysteries. So yeah, okay, I guess I uh, don't feel bad about skipping this. That's a little bit too tough to uh, to accomplish, but uh, you will at least uh, get a little bit if you're pulling some some two X voids over the weekend. But you're gonna cap out, so you'd almost have to like pull it over the course of three different days, uh, and you would need, which you would need to do it over five different days. So yeah, you'd have to do like three different days of pulling some two X voids, and then pull a bunch of mysteries or a couple sacreds. So okay. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing, and uh, and that's a little bit too tough for a warm-up event, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the offers. Okay, so we've got the third anniversary gift. This is nice. Uh, it's going to be spread out over a few days. Okay, and the three, the two, we, we will get the voids in time. That's nice. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. The dungeon pack, we've plugged this in a lot. Uh, ends up being like uh, like, like a decent one, uh, like a two point. I might as well just plug it in really quick instead of trying to guess because I don't remember exactly. I don't want to hoodwink you guys here. Uh, 750k energy of 300, gems of 200, and then XP days of two, energy refills of five, and then three legendary tomes of boom 1.25. That can't be right. What am I missing? That's definitely not right. Okay, yeah, I put in uh, Ancient Shards instead of Legendary Tomes. There we go. Okay, yep, 2.1. That's actually what I was going to guess about 2.15. Okay, so, yeah, it's decent, just not amazing. Uh, the Gem Pack, a pile of gems. This doesn't end up being super good. I think I remember this uh, from yesterday. Let's clear this out. And let's put in the Gems of 800. Boom. Um, 2.0. Yeah, okay. So not amazing. Anniversary pack. Hopefully this is really good. Anniversary pack. No less to buy it. I wanted to see this. Um, so you do get it over the course of five days. Because of that, I hope it's pretty good value. Um, 20. I'm gonna hope it's like a like like a 3.0. That would be ideal. Gems of 750, and then of 2250 energy, and energy refills of 30. 3.45. Nice. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that would be the type of offer that would be a recommend from me. Uh, but you do get it over the course of five days, but it is a 3.45 and it's pretty universally uh, good. It's got the gems, the energy. Uh, so if you do spend money on raid, uh, this is the kind of offer that I would actually recommend on my channel. It looks like uh, some of the best value you're going to get compared to what you typically see in game. Uh, regeneration. Let me just profit. Okay. Okay. So that covers it. So all in all, uh, this would be, uh, I think they did a fairly decent decent job on the uh on the anniversary pack it's not the best we've ever seen we've seen them pull out some some 4.0 5.0 offers but almost a 3.5 that's a that's a pretty good offer in terms of what they typically put out so yeah that'll uh that'll do it for this one i'm gonna head on over to stream let me know how your uh your raid or recap video uh had stats that compared to mine and all that and we can hang out and talk about all that stuff on stream if you would like to join down below in the pinned comment will be a link uh, uh, indicating whether i am still live or not but otherwise have a great rest of the end of your week and we will catch you soon in tomorrow's video and tomorrow's stream have a good rest of your day peace